In this video, we'll be showing you how to create a component in SOLIDWORKS PCB, which includes creating a symbol for your schematic and then a footprint for your board layout. At the end, we'll be showing you how to import a 3D step model, bringing you one step closer to a real-life perspective on your component. Let's get started. We'll begin by creating a new schematic library document in the File menu. Once opened, we can create our symbol with the available tools under the Home tab. In our example, we want to make a resistor symbol, so we'll use the polyline tool to draw the symbol shape. After finishing the drawn parts of this symbol, we'll use the pin tool to place two pins, allowing us to connect the symbol to other components in the schematic. Now that our shape is complete, let's give it some parameter values by first highlighting the component in the schematic library panel and then selecting the home tab and choosing library component properties. In the parameters section of the properties window, we'll select add, opening up a properties window for this parameter. From here, we'll enter a parameter name and a value of 1.5 ohms. To finish up our schematic symbol, we can attach it to a real-world part so we can easily reuse it in future design projects. To do this, we'll right-click the symbol and select Supplier Links. In this window, we can search for a vendor part we want to link the component to. Once your preferred part is selected, clicking OK will automatically link it to your component, providing you with real purchasable part association. With our symbol created, we can move on to making a footprint for our board layout. To create a footprint, we first need to create a new PCB library document in the file menu. Before making a footprint, it's good practice to change your preferred units and grid size. Under the Home tab, we'll select Metric for the units, then select Grid Properties and assign Step X and Y to 0.95 millimeters. Now that our workspace is set up, let's create two pads for our resistor. In the Home tab at the top, select Pad. Before placing it, press Tab on your keyboard to bring up the footprint properties. From here, we can change the layer, size and shape settings to align with the physical constraints from a datasheet. After placing the two footprints down next to our origin point, we'll draw a silk screen border around the pads with the line command. To finalize our footprint, we'll embed a 3D step model into our design for a real life visual on our completed component of footprint. First, on the Home tab, select 3D body to open the 3D body panel. From here, we'll choose a generic step model as the type. Then embed the step model to add our model file. Once selected, click OK and position your step model on your footprint. Now that it's positioned, we can view it in 3D. Switch to the View tab, then select Switch to 3D to get an immediate view of your embedded component model and footprint in full 3D. Our footprint and schematic symbol are both now complete. Remember to save your work with the File Save option. 